So you may be asking yourself, what has Dave been up to for the last month or so? After I made my last video, I've been pretty much home, haven't really gone out, haven't gone anywhere, uh, pretty much just been staying in the house for the last uh, three to four weeks. I think uh, in total, I've probably driven under 100 miles in that period of time. It's probably more like 60 or 70, to be honest with you. Got a couple of errands I've run here and there, but mostly just been staying home, um, kind of staying out of the way and not doing a whole lot. It's, uh, it's been good uh, as far as that goes, but just don't get out much. Still getting on my bike, of course, and spending time out there. Now, I did notice that Tesla put out a software update, which I thought was kind of cool. You know, when you get a software update, it's always kind of fun. It's a little uh, little joy, one of those little moments in time where you go, well, I wonder what they have in there. Um, so I checked it out and there was a couple of little features, a couple of little note modifications. Um, but the one that caught my attention was that the fact that they turn on the side cameras now when you put your car in reverse. So you can actually see on the side of the car. So you get a full view of the car when you back up. It's really cool, and this is actually something that I, I really like. It takes some getting used to because, you know, I'm used to the mirrors and the backup camera, um, but now I can actually look at the screen. It's just a little freaky that I can see that much as I'm going. Uh, this feature of having the, um, the two side cameras come on when you get in the car uh, and go in reverse. And all you have to do to get to it is just swipe up. Uh, normally it comes to this by default, but just by swiping up, you get both of the side cameras, so it tells you what's going on in the car. So you get everything. You get the side views, you get the, the back view, you get the whole shooting match there. You go the whole kit and caboodle, as they say. Um, so we can, uh, we can just back up like this and you get the whole view of what's happening around you. It's actually pretty neat. So I know how close I am to the curb on the right. If there were a car on the other side or maybe um, backing into my uh, driveway, um, if there's another, you know, if I've got uh, things out um, in my garage, I've got a lot of stuff in my garage. I get a lot more view, so I can actually see it. It's actually very, very cool. Okay, this is pretty cool actually. So I can see that side and that side now. And I actually have a pretty good idea of where I am relative to everything that's around me. That's actually pretty cool. Makes it a little bit easier to uh, pull out. Preferably without hitting anything. That's actually kind of cool, I like that. Um, but that's the only real update they've given. Now, as far as actually owning the car and doing some things, you know, I keep hearing about new things that Tesla may be coming up with, some new software updates, um, some additions. Uh, they may offer insurance in Florida at some point. Uh, I don't know. Um, that would make my wife very happy if I could bring down my insurance rate a little bit. Uh, you know, that's the one thing that kind of makes her crazy a little. But um, that's, you know, that's, I guess, still a dream for the future. It's, yeah, Tesla keeps doing some interesting things, so I suspect there'll be something that comes of that at some point. Overall, I really enjoy driving the car. I've been reading a lot more about electric vehicles sitting at home. Um, not that I didn't read a lot anyway. But as I read more and I learn more about what the electric vehicles, vehicles have and do, you see how Tesla really set itself apart uh, in what they do and how, they, how they've set themselves up because they have this charging network. It's not about the cars. It is about the cars, but it's not about the cars at all. And when you hear about Ford coming along with their new uh, charging network that they're gonna be putting in, they'll put in, you know, they'll make some inroads there, assuming that they're able to get it done. So, you know, that'll be interesting to see what they do because I think they'll be a good competitor for Tesla in that space. Um, and, you know, I think Tesla did some interesting things with setting themselves up this way. And I read an article recently that they're not, um, they're really not a car company anymore. It's much more than that. And I agree, now that I think about the car and how it works and the things that they do, it's pretty cool. So, um, the, uh, and the Tesla stock price just keeps going through the roof. It was funny because it was a period of time back in March when I thought about buying some stock and I, I saw the price point and it was just a little bit higher than I wanted to spend. And um, it's almost tripled since then. Actually, I think it's, al it's almost quadrupled since then, since that point when I saw it. So you kind of go, wow, I think I might have made a mistake there, but that's okay. You know, it was one of those things where I had a little cash and I was like, oh, I might invest in Tesla stock and I invested in something else that did just fine. So I have no complaints, but it's just funny how much better it did. I was thinking it was overvalued and <laughs> it's not. Um, so really kind of interesting. And uh, just, you know, one of those things. And it's funny because Jamie Foxx, rode in a Tesla for the first time, and uh, he, had, he had somebody's Model 3 he was trying out. And it was funny because at the end, he had this to say, which was actually pretty cool. Well, there it is, there it was, there we were on the road riding with vehicles 
that have gas in them and I felt all right. I felt macho, I felt like I was in control and at the same time I felt sleek. But as I watched all those cars with gas in them, I know they got a problem. And Tesla is the Tums of cars. You know why? It gets rid of gas. Holla at me, Elon. One little detail there that was, I didn't show in the video here, in Jamie's video, he actually takes his hands off the wheel and closes his eyes for a moment when he's in autopilot. Eh, had that cringy moment where I, even though I don't have autopilot, I know that it's one of those things that you have to keep your hands on the wheel and control the car and uh, make sure that you're always in control. Until they get to the full self-driving and it, we're confident that it's working, you always want to be in control of your car. And he wasn't, and that's a little scary. I know the owner was in the car with him, and I suspect he had that momentary, uh, ooh, what's he doing? But, you know, everything worked out, so I guess it's cool. But just a warning to everyone, don't take your hands off the wheel. Anyway. So, you know, I'll continue on uh, making these videos as often as I can with uh, whatever's going on. In the meantime, I'm just having some fun at home. I've been doing a lot more cooking projects like many people and uh, doing some other fun things, but that's about it. So I'd just like to remind you, as I always do, when you go out, be sure and wear your mask. Now I've got a new mask, Baby Yoda. Awesome, I love this mask. It's kind of it's cool. So there you go. That's my story for today. Have a good one.